Fisher Hacks. Appreciate you stopping in for another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to take you on my journey to go grocery shopping for my snowflake eel. Now, I do this probably every three months or so. Uh, lately, he's been eating just silver sides because I kind of ran out of stuff. Um, and he's been acting a little funny. He's not really happy with the silver sides. I mean, he eats them. He eats like two or three at a time. But he's just not himself. Um, I did have a fish death. Um, that uh, purple tile goby actually just died for no reason. He stopped eating. Um, so maybe it's a bacterial infection. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to Giant, which is a grocery store here in Harrisburg, PA. And uh, I'm going to pick up some, uh, maybe some squid if they have any, some krill. Uh, sorry for the background noise there. And uh, we'll see what we get. Then we're going to head over to Pecco, get some of that garlic dipped of soaked food in, and maybe get some more krill since he kind of finished up what I had left over this morning. Uh, either way, guys, uh, we're going to take you on the journey. So uh, let's get into it, all right? Octopus. Never fed him this before. Huh. It's only what four dollars and sixty nine cents. It's definitely worth a try. I think I'm gonna get this and let's see if we can find something else here. Scallop would be nice. Scallops, shrimp. Yeah. Um. I only need to get like two of the scallops, maybe one uh, for my eel. So I kind of want to. I don't need a lot. Just like, can we see what one costs? This is one of the small, one of the bigger ones here. Some raw crab. So I got uh, about I don't know ten maybe or so shrimp. It's actually pretty good. They were on sale, half off, which is awesome. I got uh, raw octopus. Actually, I checked the price on that. It's a little bit more. I think it's like close to seven dollars, which is fine. Then I got two scallops. So what we're gonna do is bring this all home after we go to Peco. I chop it up in little pieces, put it in a bag, and freeze it up. All right. So let's get out of here. Let's go check out. find what I was looking for at Petco. I guess it's just out of stock right now. Um, but that's cool. I'll just order it online. It's really not that big of a deal. Either way, heading home now. Uh, when we get there, I will set everything up and I'll show you how I cut this up into chunks that he can manage. And then uh, we'll get it in the freezer and uh, yeah, be good to go. All right, guys. I will uh, see you at home. All right. We're back here from the store. I have my frozen octopus. I have scallops and shrimp. So, just going to take everything out of the packages, lay it out here on the cutting board, and then uh, get into cutting everything up. So let's go ahead and open up the octopus here. I haven't bought this kind before, so this is all new. Kind of see how we're going here. But I'm sure he'll love it. And it definitely mixes up the whole silver side thing. Set this to the side here. There, set to the side. Two scallops. All right. I don't really remember how many shrimp I got. I know that they were on sale. So, Let's see. Ooh, that octopus is strong. Set that to the side. Empty. So let's see how many shrimp we got for like three bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen shrimp for three bucks. Uh, that's not that bad at all. So I'm just going to cut everything up. I'm going to put it in the strainer here, which is in a bowl. And then uh, that will allow me to rinse it off thoroughly and then we can uh, pack it up. So let's do the scallops first. Set all this to the side. Kind of weird cutting up, you know. Essentially, it's not people food. Well, it is people food, but it, you know, then giving it to your eel. It's interesting, but it's definitely cheaper to do it this way if you can get stuff on sale. Throw it in there. This knife is a little overkill, but the uh, octopus is still frozen.
shrimp. I have to peel them first. And you don't want to cook any of this stuff because you want it to have the most nutrients as possible. I know when you cook things, uh, that, you know, it can really uh, take some of that, the nutrients out of it, at least uh, for uh, the saltwater fish anyways. Peel a lot easier when they're not cooked too. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this type of video with me uh, kind of like blogging or they call it, you know blogging or vlogging, blogging, whatever the terminology is. Um, kind of taking you around with me. Just you know, let me know what you think. I know I said that earlier, but uh, feedback is always good. All right, so those guys are good to go. Just gonna kind of just chop them up and see where we're at. Make another round through. That's pretty good. Throw that in the bowl. Alright, squid. It's kind of frozen, but uh, we're just going to hopefully get through it with a knife. Oh yeah, it's no problem. cutting board around here. Sorry about that. This is a huge amount of food. It's probably going to last him three or three months or so. I only feed him every other day right now. Um, but I probably feed him every day until he starts fe feeling a little bit better. Or see how he's he reacts to the new food um, but every other day this will probably last three months all of this just gonna turn the cutting board and just go this way for a couple try not to get it on the floor And the bowl. I'm going to attempt to feed him today. I know he just ate earlier, but uh, we'll see if he'll take some of this. quite a bit of food. All right, I'm going to rinse this out and then we'll get over to the tank and try to uh, see if he'll take some. Other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it in plastic freezer bags and throw it in the freezer. That's it. All right, let's get over to the tank. There you go, buddy. Well, that was the shrimp, so, yep, it's gone already. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.